after stage is empty. Now Usain Bolt is gone, everybody is waiting to see who is going to take over as the world's fastest man. Right now, the main contender is Christian Coleman. He made a big splash in the track and field world with a blistering 6.3460 meter run, obliterating Morris Green's world record by 500th of a second. Can he realistically take a shot at breaking Usain Bolt's 100 meter world record? Let's take a look at what Bolt's official 60 meter splits were for the three fastest wind legal 100 meter runs in history. As you can see, Coleman's 6.34 is well within the range of Bolt's 60 meter en route splits, but what made Bolt so great was the second half of the race. Coleman, on the contrary, has a tendency to lose top speed faster than his main rivals. The fastest athletes have their knees together during touchdown and maximum velocity sprinting. By applying extreme amount of vertical force, they can produce long steps at high frequency and thus spend less time on the ground. When the knees are not close to each other on impact, it is an indication that the sprinter is over pushing horizontally. And the longer the swing leg knee is behind the support leg, the longer braking forces affect the body, hence the long ground contact time and loss of speed. If Christian Coleman can fix the last 40 meters of the race, the world record may be within his reach.